What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in this video I'm going to be doing my 10,000 subscriber Q&A as well as my 10,000 subscriber giveaway So I'll be doing a giveaway after I do my Q&A after I recently just hit 10,000 subscribers Yeah, checked on YouTube and 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel So subscribe to the channel, help the uh, channel grow even more And you'll be entered in the giveaway which I'll be revealing a little bit later on I just don't see why you, you just won't subscribe, it's free And uh, yeah, it helps the channel and I it's just one simple click Now I hit the 10,000 subscriber milestone uh, a few days ago And I've uh, put up a story on my Instagram asking you guys to ask me any questions you want um, for a bit of a Q&A I did one for 5,000 subscribers and I thought, well, why not do it for 10,000? And then, as I said before, at the end of it, I'll be going through a giveaway. So stay tuned for that and I'll show you guys how to enter and be in it to win it. And uh, yeah, with the Q&A questions, most of them uh, revolve either around footy or YouTube, but um, I'll try and do my best and answer as many as I can. Obviously, with the Q&A, I obviously won't be able to answer all of them because I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of responses, so I've picked the best out of the bunch that will be the best to answer for this video. First up, we've got Anthony Alessiani. And uh, quickly, quick shout out to him. He owns the YouTube channel, The Pair, and he's doing very well, doing great things on the YouTube front. So go check him out. He asked me what my main drive for the channel is. Now that's a good question, a good startup question. I guess the uh, my you know the community really is a main drive in continuously uploading videos. I feel very lucky to have a great uh, community and subscriber base. And every time I do the streams, you know everyone hops on board, and you know everyone gets around it. Everyone's nice in the uh, the, the the comments in the streams. There, you know they get around the channel and all. I just yeah, I, I love getting up out videos for yeah people to enjoy. I mean it it, it uh yeah it's it's great and uh it's inspiring when people message me on Instagram. I've had a few people in the last you know couple of weeks you know message me telling me that um, I inspire them to start up a new footy channel. I, I feel honored that I'm, uh, for, for whatever reason, an inspiration to other people. And I guess another drive, obviously, is, you know, it is a, it is a source of income for me. It's not anything massive, but you know, it, it's helping out. And I've been doing it for a while now, so I don't see myself stopping anytime soon in uh, the YouTube front. Now, a lot of people ask me this question, and that was, what was my favorite video I've made on the channel? Now, I've made a lot of, Good videos. You can't did say apart from the T Team cricket game, and I think that's for sure probably my favourite. You know, it was the most enjoyable to film. Uh, I loved hang, you know, interacting with new people when filming that video, and it took the most time and effort by far in making. I'll, I'll go for a few. I'll go. I, I do enjoy the Guernsey design videos. Uh, they're fun to do. They're fun to make, and I enjoy getting them out. Um, I like the uh, a few of the AFL vlogs, the Bulldogs one and Essendon one in particular. Uh, particularly because you know everyone liked to see me. Uh, rage when we did terrible. I enjoyed the uh, the recent AFL Gold King Challenge. Um, they're always fun to film, edit, and uh, you know make. And uh, another video that I actually really enjoyed was the drawing AFL logos video where I tried to draw AFL logos in an hour. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, and I might maybe do something a little bit later in the future with uh, Guernseys. I might draw some Guernseys. It also answers Mitch's question, which were my one of my top five videos I've ever made. Josh Chanini has asked me what I reckon my worst video is, and uh, obviously I've got tons of shockers on the channel, you know, in the first three years of making, but I, I pinpoint one terrible video, was, it's gotta be the video I did with Druzy, the, uh, the true or false video last year. The quality, I got had no idea what lighting was, I had no idea what audio quality was, I was using my phone mic, my phone camera, no lighting, um, it was a shocker, and I had no chemistry because that was my first um, collab. But another poor video I reckon I made this year would have been the uh, predicting every AFL result video. Um, I don't know, I felt like it was a bit of a lazy video and the audio was, uh, yeah, it came out quite poor if anyone didn't realise. So uh, yeah, it might be that one. Bit of footy. Best collabs I've made. Well, this is a tough one. I've, I've collabed with a lot of YouTubers, you know, I've, you know, Mitchie Ryan. I, I love collabing with him. It's always fun. I, I bond with him well, Mitchie. Um, Cade McDonald, when I got him on the Fall Guys, that was a lot of fun. And uh, when I got Druzy on the second time, that was, uh, yeah, fun to get those people on. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoy collabs. They're definitely one of my more enjoyable uh, videos to do when I'm working with other people. OWP has asked if I have any clubs in the making. Well, the only series currently going on that involve other AFL YouTubers would have to be the AFL Evolution 2 one, whether I do challenges with other people. I've got Mitch, Geordie, and Ryder on, and I'm planning, if, Kay, if he's watching this, I might be getting, well, I haven't asked yet, but I'm planning on getting Caden McDonald on for the next episode, so. I, at the moment, that's probably the only uh, you know club I've got at the moment. Any YouTubers who have inspired me? If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I, I haven't really been inspired in terms of the videos that I make from any YouTubers other than the ones in the AFL community. And I've got to say, 
massive inspiration it was, has got to be Caden McDonald. I think it's safe to say that he's inspired almost every other AFL YouTuber in the community at the moment. He's been up up there at the top for a while now and he's uh yeah he's doing a lot of great things and he knows what he's doing and i just yeah really do enjoy the videos he does make and it's uh, obviously uh yeah inspires a lot of other people and it did inspire me to start switching up the content other than just strictly footy card videos back um in the mid 2019. nick flario favorite shows i watched when i was little well when i was a kid i used to you know like i, I, I like to watch uh disney channel and nickelodeon quite a bit you know, iCarly, Victorious, those were good. I, I, I watched uh, Good Luck Charlie, that was good. Dog with a Blog, uh, Austin and Ali. So uh, if, did, if Disney Channel, Linkin Park, whatever his name is, is watching this, um, yeah, I've been watching obviously too much Austin and Ali. What made me start collect footy cards? Now, I've, most of you guys probably do know um, I do collect footy cards. I haven't really been getting them as much as I have, you know, in recent years, but uh, I don't know. My dad just bought me a few packs when I was like three. And I'm like, ever since I fell in love with them, that. Just fun to collect. You don't know what you're gonna get in it. You might be getting the best card, a, a wild card, or you might be getting a crap pull. I love that sort of feeling that you get when you're collecting things such as AFL cards. Tyler Green, second favorite sport? Well, I might have answered this in a previous Q&A or whatever in the past, but yeah, cricket. I don't have too many other sports that I really follow other than footy, but uh, cricket's gotta be up there with my second favorite for sure. I definitely follow it during the summer quite a bit. Plans on the channel going forward? Um, I don't have too many. I, I usually, you know, think of the idea as the week goes and I just make the video from there. But uh, a couple of videos I have in mind, I said earlier the Guernsey video, I wouldn't mind doing a drawing Guernsey video. I want to get an AFL Gold King challenge out soon with a few AFL YouTubers. I might do a multi-sport ball challenge video, something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, that's at the top of my head. I'm, I also want to start getting the uh, AFL Evo 2 career mode out again, hopefully in, in the coming uh, days. So uh, yeah, there's just a few videos I have in mind that I want to start getting out soon. Lion Gamer has asked how I felt before I got monetized. Did I feel like quitting? Well, to answer this question pretty uh, straightforward, I, I never felt like quitting really because back, back when I was doing videos, before I was monetized and before I got the 1,000 subscribers, I was just doing it for fun. A little bit of a side hobby, honestly, a, a couple videos a week. And it was just me opening footy cards. But once once I did hit the 1,000 subscribers, I mean, I already had the watch hours locked in and it helped. The compilation videos helped. So uh, I, yeah, I never really felt like quitting. What is the best AFL game that I've been to? Now, a couple years ago, I did make a video on this on the uh, on the channel. Oh, it's gotta be between the Dogs 2009 prelim final, uh, Dogs 2015 comeback, and I don't know, maybe, maybe even the a, the D's v Saints game in 2015, those were absolute thrillers. Manny Watson has asked what happened to the Saints. But of course, yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed on, in how we are playing at the moment. I expected us to, you know, back up a performance of last year, if anything, do even better. But what, what we've done is uh, completely abysmal. We've gone backwards by, uh, yeah, a long way. And uh, yeah, the finals is out of the question at the moment. We could easily finish bottom four. Fletch TDC, when do I think the Saints win another flag? If I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if I live till 80 and I don't see a Saints flag. But realistically, I'll, I'll give it, I'll probably give it 20 years, honestly. Ronan B has asked me other YouTubers that I enjoy watching. Now, YouTubers that I enjoy watching uh, that are not really in the AFL community, they, they usually come and go for me when I'm watching YouTube. Like, usually I, you know, binge watch a certain creator and then I sort of don't watch him for like a, a month or a couple months. But a few YouTubers that I do uh, watch, obviously the Sidemen. Um, Mr. Beast, Laser Beam, Fairman Films, I enjoy watching them, and Darcy Arns, his videos are really good. A few other channels that I, you know, get around as well that, uh, you know, maybe a few people haven't heard of. Drew Binsky does travel videos, Company Man, interesting. Uh, I, I loved Grade A Andre back in the days. Geo Wizard, Isaac Butterfield, the talentless writer. We're getting a bit off topic with a few non-YouTube or AFL questions. Will McLean, favorite year at school? Now, obviously I've completed school. Year 10 was my worst year of school. I, yeah, it was it was a shit year, but um, I don't know, year eight was good. It was easy and uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. I made it some, some new friends. <laughs> OK002, do I have a girlfriend? Well, yeah, you might be disappointed in my answer that I that I don't have one currently. Big shocks, I know. I, I, you'd think I'd be getting all the girls, but uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. The Raw Nader 211 Ask what I'm doing at uni. Currently, I'm not doing it at the moment, but I'm starting up again next month, so I'm, I'm doing business at uni. Um, yeah, uh, something that is quite enjoyable. Who will win the flag? I've been asked by Carlos Suarez. 
Look, it's, it's between the dogs, the Ds, the lions, or the cats, but I'm gonna back my original call back in round three of the, the dogs. Two KFC items that I could have forever. Now, this is a tough one because as you guys probably do know, I I enjoy KFC. I actually have it probably more than what I should, but Zinger Burger, Zinger Stacker Burger. Look, I tell you what, if they still had the crushes at KFC, I would have chucked that into the list because I tell you what, I don't know why they got rid of the KFC crushes. Um, I, I definitely do miss those. And uh, the last question, Dylan Field, a bit of a controversial one this might be. If I could uh, get rid of any two AFL teams, what would they be? Probably the Gold Coast Suns. They're a nothing team at the moment. I mean, they're going nowhere. You could replace a team. You could replace the Suns for a team in Tassie, to be quite honest with you. And then I'd almost just say Collingwood, just to piss off fans like Mitchie Ryan and Bitter Footy, honestly. Um, we, I'm, I'm sure most people watching this video could do without Collingwood in the AFL. Uh, but anyways, there, those were the, uh, the questions that I've uh, decided to answer in this Q&A, but obviously that's not the end of the video because after going through the questions, I'll also be doing a bit of a giveaway. And uh, this one's definitely the biggest one I have done. So I'll show you the prizes, a $50 Amazon gift card. I'm sure everyone watching this could deal with that. I mean, you know, we're in a COVID world at the moment, so Amazon gift card will be uh, useful for any of your uh, shopping. And first prize is a an official Sharon match ball um, that I think was like 130 bucks. I got at Rebel the other day. Um, yeah, official Sharon, first prize and second prize will be an Amazon gift voucher. And to enter, it's very, very easy. All you gotta do is comment down below, hashtag 10K subs, and uh, you gotta make sure you like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to be in with a chance to win this giveaway. And uh, I'll probably reveal the giveaway sometime this weekend on my second account. So if you want to be updated and alert to uh, know when the giveaway winners will be released, uh, link to the second channel will be down in the description. So uh, feel free to subscribe to that. And I'll post a community tab when the video is out. Um, so you guys do not miss out for that. But uh, yeah, I, I thought why not do a bit of a giveaway to say thank you for yeah, helping me reach such a massive milestone. I never, I, I never thought I'd reach this amount of subs, honestly, when I first started. I was just doing it, I, I, honestly, just for a bit of fun. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy to see how far it has gone. Yeah, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember, comment down below, hashtag 10K subs. You know, the next goal, I guess, will be 20K. So if we get 20K, I might do another giveaway then, and it might be a bit bigger as well. But uh, yeah, cheers for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.